hey, what's up? This is John Cena. Press the free like button if you think that every wrestling company should have their own version of me or Cody Rhodes. It's important to have your company represented by a marketable mascot. TNA did it with AJ Styles. And Tony Khan should find his own John Cena. Now, here's what I don't get. What's the issue about being compared to John Cena? I don't get it. What's the big deal? I feel like that's a good thing. Listen, every company in this world, they should model their number one star as the next John Cena. Here's what I mean. John Cena was the perfect company man. He was the perfect mascot. He was the perfect top guy for a company. Hence why they called him the goddamn franchise. They called him the face of the company because he had every tool known to man. That's what I mean. Bruh, he holds the record for the most make-a-wishes. So that's why he never turned heel. Because there was no need. He was too beloved by kids. But I'm hearing all this talk online, right? About is Tony Khan man trying to turn Will No Spray into his own John Cena? Okay, who cares? What if he is? How was that a problem? How was that an issue? Listen, John is the blueprint. If you want to book the face of your brand, you follow the John Cena blueprint. He needs to be on TV shows. He needs to be on talk shows. He needs to be on posters. He needs to win all your belts. You got to prove to the audience that this is your guy. He's the face of the brand. But listen, John was not the first John Cena. That's what I don't understand you people. It's like, wow, the first John was actually Hulk Hogan. But this man he followed the Hulk Hogan blueprint for John Cena. That's what he always wanted. He always wanted his own Hulk Hogan. He always wanted a Hulk Hogan 2.0 because obviously Stone Cold Steve Austin was not Hulk Hogan. He was very, very different. Rocky Maivia was not Hulk Hogan. He was very, very different. But after that, Vince was trying to find his next Hulk Hogan. He always wanted his own Hulk Hogan after Hogan. Hence the warrior. Hence, um, Savage, um, fucking Bret Hart. He always wants it, Hulk Hogan 2.0, but how was that an issue? Listen, look at WCW. Listen, before Hogan signed there, their Hulk Hogan was actually Sting because they follow the Hulk Hogan blueprint. Let's book Sting like Hogan. Like, bro, that is not a bad thing. Every company, they need a cornerstone. Every company, they need a identity. John Cena was Vince McMahon's identity for that company for over 20-some years. For example, he tried turning Roman Reigns into John Cena 2.0. Obviously, he failed, but at least he tried. Because John is the perfect role model. So, no, I have no problem with Con Man trying to book Will Nospreay as his own John Cena. That's called counter-programming. Right? Because um, Triple H, he has his own John Cena. That's Cody Rhodes. But Cody Rhodes, his idol is John Cena. He said it in a promo. That's the guy he always wanted to be. He wanted to be John Cena, especially in all elite fake pro wrestling. He said it. He wanted to be John Cena in all elite wrestling. That's why he never turned heel. And most likely, he would never turn heel because he wants to be John Cena. But why not follow that blueprint? If it's successful, follow it. You need counter-programming. For a whole decade, TNA had their own John Cena. That was AJ Styles. Um, Was that a bad thing? No. Every company needs their own Hulk Hogan. Every company needs their own John Cena. Not Stone Cold Steve Austin, because he is a once-in-a-lifetime character. But when it comes to Hogan, John, you need guys like that. You need guys to goddamn kiss babies go to hospitals and cheer kids up. You need guys like that. You need milk and cookies like role models. You need the prayers and the vitamins like characters, like a will, no spray. So I don't have no problem with Con Man wanting to book Will No Spray as his own John Cena. That's smart. It's like, bro, we've been doing this for the past 40 some years. Every company follows the blueprint of the next company. That's my point. For example, this man, he wanted his own Road Warriors, so he made Demolition. So, bro, we've been doing this dance 
for over 40 some years. There has always been counter programming. Same thing with WCW. Vince had Stone Cold Steve Austin. WCW had Goldberg, right? Um, we had Taker, they had Sting, the Crow Sting. So there has always been counter programming, just like with Abyss. Abyss, then we had Kane, right? We have always done this, so I have no problem with Con Man wanting to counter program. He should turn Will No Spray into his own John Cena. Hell, why not? He lost Cody Rhodes. He needs somebody to counter Cody Rhodes. So, bro, this is called business. If he wants to push Will No Spray to the goddamn moon, okay, do it. Because right now, that's all you have is maybe Max and fucking Dean Ambrose. You need a pillar and a face of your company that is your mascot that can be your Hogan or your John Cena. Now, overall, have I been impressed with Will Nospray up to this point? Yes, actually, yes. He has been very, very impressive since coming to All Elite Fake Pro Wrestling. I think he has been the best booked talent. Okay, let's compare him to Sasha Banks and Okada. Bruh, he is the best out of all of them. He has been booked perfectly, but I can't say the same thing for Okada. But let's talk about Okada. You can make the argument that Okada was the John Cena of New Japan Pro Fake Wrestling. Okay, what's the problem? You need counter programming. John is the blueprint. He is the blueprint on how to book a top guy that has no flaws and he is the face of your brand he's the guy that you market wrestling is about marketing you gotta have stars that you can market to the mainstream audience you have to have a selling point who is your selling point who is going to be the guy that's going to help you sell tickets you need a alpha you need a top guy that we all know is a top guy for example john cena fucking um, Orton. Those two guys were the faces of their era. They were not mid-carters. They were main eventers. You need guys like that. You need to have guys on your roster where the fans say, okay, I know he is a top guy. He ain't no damn fucking mid-carter. He is a top guy. He's a pillar of this company. For example, WCW, they had fucking Sting, Goldberg, Diamond Dallas Page, they have fucking Booker T. They have pillars that you can identify with as the cornerstones of their company. So if Con Man wants to push Will No Spray to the goddamn moon, okay, let him. He needs stars, bro. Like, what the fuck? He needs stars. If he wants to book Will as the next John Cena, let him. He needs all the help he can get. And I feel like he is the perfect guy to build your brand around. Like, why not? I think. Osprey is the perfect guy to build your company around, especially in all elite fake pro wrestling. It's like, who is going to be your counter star? If Triple H has Cody Rhodes, who does Con Man have? Who, Max? Who fucking um, Swerve Scott? Who is his Cody Rhodes? That's my point, bitch, right? This is why WCW lost because we had Stone Cold Steve Austin and they didn't. We had Rocky Maivia and they didn't. That's why they fucking lost. We had Triple H and they didn't. We had Kane and they didn't. That's what I mean. It is important to build up stars and to counter program with those set stars, right? For example, does Con Man have his own Braun Breaker? Nope. Does he have his own Dragonoff? Nope. Does he have his own dirty ass Dominic? Nope. That's my point. Does he have his own Dane Priest? Nope. Does he have his own LA cosplay? Nope. That's a problem. Who do you have by comparison to compete with the World Wrestling Federation? Right? We got Santos Escobar. Who does Khan Man have? Roosh? Yeah, but he's not pushing Roosh. Like I said in my last video, he books Latinos like jokes. He books them as high price enhancement talent. I'm not lying. 
you can't name me a Spanish main eventer currently on this roster that con man has been pushing. I'm not lying. I give facts and evidence. But to make a long story short, I have no problem with the monster push he's given to Will Ospreay. It's like, if Con Man wants him to be his own Cody Rhodes, I say why not? Because where the fuck is Omega? Omega is getting older and he's injured. So, bro, you gotta start building up more stars because there's no more Cody Rhodes, there's no more Omega. You gotta start building up your core pieces for your company and I'm done.